Hello and welcome to the Big Bear Homestead. Today on the Big Bear Homestead, you're in for kind of a special treat. Great for you, bad for us. One of our hives was taken over by wax moths. So we're gonna pop the top here and I'm gonna let you see what a wax moth worm looks like and see if we can't, what else that we can find in here that'll show us the signs of a wax moth. And then we'll do another separate video on a homemade remedy to be able to keep them away from your hive. So let's pop our inner cover here and as you can see we got no bees none whatsoever but what we do have is what looks like almost like spider webs along the top of our frames okay now we do have some bees flying in and out but I believe that they are coming from my adjacent hive over here and they're coming to rob the honey so let's pop some high frames out now I still have to use a pry bar to get them out because of the what I call bee glue because I can't pronounce the fancy name that goes with it like my wife can that's propolis and <laughs> there are even some yellow jackets that just come flying out at me that's on my bee netting so happy happy joy joy for me get out of here Mr. yellow jacket So we're going to make this just a little bit simpler, if we can. Um, you got a lot of bees coming out, man. Yeah. yeah, they might. There we go. Okay, so let's take this. I got a lot of yellow jackets coming out is what I got. Okay. Unfortunately. Okay, beautiful. Well, beautiful for y'all. Not for me. But if you look right here, the guy that just ran down there, unfortunately. See these guys right here? This is the, the wax moth larva. Okay? He needs to die. Oh, and he just died. And these guys are what really put a whooping on a high. Look how they, all of this spider web stuff i got some mouse feces we got honeybees in here trying to run for the uh hill here is some good look at what they've done to the wax now they don't really eat the wax they just destroy it yellow jacket Die. hence the reason why i put on my suit is because it is yellow jacket time here in Georgia you can the overwhelming smell of honey here is just heartbreaking so this, let me put my honey super down now every last one of these hives bodies and everything I'm gonna have to put in a deep freezer to kill any eggs or any larva there went a wax moth just missed it be able to kill any egg and larva that we have left. See what they've done. Now, let me see if I can get this one out because this is a pretty good specimen to show. Yellow jacket. I hate yellow jackets. Oh, yeah. This is what they do. There is a wax moth larva right there coming out. There's one right here. Okay. See the larva right there, Terry? Mm -hmm. Yes. And this is what they... Oh, uh, turn that back around. Here we go. Let me see that back side. This is what they do to you. In literally... A matter of maybe a week. Oh. We can't even harvest this wax. There's nothing that we can save out of this. 
nothing at all. You can't even make candles. No, mm -mm. the wax is wax destroyed. Wax is destroyed. Here's a larva hatching from an egg sack right there. I should feed it to the chickens, but I'm still in kind of the upset destructive mode. <laughs> but if you take a good look, this was our strongest hive at one time. And now it's gone. Because of those, Cause of those little bitties right in there. contamination no because we're not gonna well yeah I do have to worry about it a little bit see here's where look at look at this what? oh wow all of these frames I will burn mm-hmm get stung I'll run off and say I'm never doing this again just like I always do okay. and I always come back mm -hmm. destroy can't you run them through the dishwasher no the what happens is, is sometimes these guys will get embedded into the wood like you see these marks right here like when you take this egg sack off right here. Yeah. See how it leaves that? Sometimes they'll get into the tiniest little cracks. Mm -hmm. And then when you put them back into a new hive, you just reinfested that hive with wax moss. Oh. So it's better to just get rid of the wooden frames. Now these deep bodies. Freezer therapy? You get They, they can get some freezer therapy. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I might just chunk them too. It's awful expensive to do something like that. But... This is even more expensive. <laughs> this is even more of an expense than anything. Wow. Yeah, see, so look at them all falling down right there. That was when I just put this back. You, you're gonna need to burn this thing. Yeah, I'm think I'm gonna end up burning this hive body here. And just build a new one. Because mm -hmm. that one's not even fish or dove not dovetail. You look at it. I almost want to cry. <laughs> You let it go if you need to. I'll edit it out. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> big, bad, big bad bear. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to waste all of these because it's demolished. And what's really sad is that <clears throat> this beehive got hit with small hive beetles. Not oh. when we noticed it. Three months ago? Four months ago? Back in April. Back in April. And we ordered the small hive beetle traps. When we come in to place the small hive beetle traps, this hive was so strong, it it beat the small hive beetles and they started to replace. I saw one little sack of wax moss. I destroyed it. We kept our eyes on it for a little while. I didn't see any more signs. And then my wife came out here yesterday and she's like, there's no more activity. And this is what we call the Arnold Schwarzenegger hive because it was, it was huge. It was, I mean, this bad boy was awesome. And so she popped the top and she saw all the larva. That was it. Running around and she knew we were done. And so that's what happens. Can't win them all, I guess. It's bound to happen sooner or later. And that black small black stuff on there what is that 
What's what smell like? That's, That's their feces. Worm poop. Worm poop. I think I'm not 100% sure. Might be more eggs, too. I'm not a wax moth guru. And it takes them a roach. No, oh, no time at all. Or a palmetto, whatever bug to yeah. come in. Everybody will come in and start to eat off of the honey if there's. As soon any as the left. guard bees are gone, yeah, it takes nothing for them to come in. <coughs> now this is some of your original. This is what's really interesting is to look at these. These are when we first started this hive. There is no foundation on these. This is just. Wire. The hive itself and wire where they built off the wire from the beginning. Matter of fact, this frame came from uh, Pastor Wayne Hunsacker mm -hmm. when we, uh, when our queen died on us. Mm -hmm. He brought us this full of brood. Mm -hmm. And that was what, five years ago? Six years ago? Something like that, yeah. Okay, these big ants are starting to freak me All gone. Gone. See how when you pull it back, you'll find more of the larva. Anywhere from little to big. Little to big. Them nasties. Mm -hmm. Die. Look at that. I don't even know why you're bothering trying to kill them. It's called revenge. Well, it's time to fire up the fire pit. Blaze! Get his fire going. Well, that was 